So this is the focus length holder that I made for the Unity uh, UTI 690A. Um, basically, it both acts as a lens cover when you remove it like this. And uh, as you can see, the, the focus length is not exposed on either side. But when you want to use the focus length, you just slide this cover up and the lens is exposed on both the front and the back of the unit. So the lens stays fully protected when not in use and only exposed when you want to use it. You can see the inside, how that looks. Good. So this shows how to assemble this unit. Uh, you have the main body here and you have a slider or cover. Uh, so if you look at it from the side, you want it like this, push it into the groove. You have to wiggle it a little bit up and down to get everything aligned properly, like this. And then you make sure you lift it above that edge and you push it in. Now that is secured, locked in place. You can't remove it easily and uh, the snap works all right. So to uh, mount the lens, uh, you make sure that your hands are of course clean and no oil or anything. You take the lens and you carefully place it in the hole like that. And then you take the C clip, zero clip or what is called. And you look at the draft angle of it. Uh, basically the flat the, the wide flat side should be downwards against the lens. And that makes sure that uh, yeah, it's a constant force holding it in place. So you push it in like this. You hold it and just squeeze it in. Like that. And now the lens is secured. And then you can just close it again. So for this focus length holder, uh, the recommended print settings is to print this one with support, uh, but only touching build plate so that uh, you don't get support all the way in here in these small cavities. Um, for this part, uh, you print it with support everywhere, so that you have this uh, flat surface supported. And for this part, you can print it without support. After printing, uh, I recommend that you do some cleanup to make uh, the mechanism that run smoothly, mainly to uh, uh, make sure these surfaces are quite smooth. They don't have to be super smooth. Uh, but I take a knife and just uh, cut off anything that's poking out uh, that hasn't been fully supported. And the same goes for this uh, surface under here. Uh, so you make sure that you uh, make it as smooth as you can basically. But only take a knife and cut it uh, along the length of it and uh, it should be okay.